dear brothers and sisters, if there were a few things or people who were really, really dear to you, who you really are attached to, who you consider to be your greatest life treasure, who or what would these things be? For a married couple, it could be the spouse, where one is really, really attached to the other person. Or perhaps for a young couple, it's the engagement ring, it's the rarest of diamonds, and therefore that person will treasure it. Or perhaps somebody is very passionate about a particular game, a particular sport, and therefore one that will make sure that one will put his or her heart and soul into that game. When we treasure something, my dear brothers and sisters, we hold that very dear to our heart. We will not let it go that easily. How I wish we could do the same as far as our faith is concerned. Over the last 2,000 years, the faith has been just handed on from one generation to the next. We are among those who are fortunate to have received our faith, even though the church has gone through its own share of persecution. And in today's gospel, Jesus warns us, Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs. Don't just throw your faith away so that it gets trampled upon by others. We need to treasure our faith, value it, thank God for it, and most importantly, live it in our everyday life. And then Jesus goes on to warn us towards the end of the gospel. Be careful about the gate that you enter, because there could be a nice wide gate which seems so easy to enter through. A lot of people will be going there, but that does not lead to the gate that will take you to God's kingdom. Because the ways of the gospel are always challenging and sometimes can be difficult. And therefore the gate we need to enter from is that which is narrow, which leads to eternal life. And unfortunately, not too many people are choosing that particular passage, that particular gate, that particular way. You and I have that choice to make, my dear brothers and sisters, to live our faith like Jesus wants us to live. To treasure it with all our heart and most importantly to choose wisely so that indeed we can enter into God's kingdom by the narrow gate which is hard and difficult but will lead us to life eternal. God bless and do have a Jesus filled day. God bless and do have a Jesus filled day.